All right, today I'm going to intubate a rabbit with MDS's uh, 1.9 millimeter semi flexible endoscope, um, also known as the focus scope. Uh, we're going to intubate using a non cuffed uh, Murphy eye tube or uh, pediatric nasal or a nasal tube. Uh, the brand I'm using is SunMed, also available through MDS. I've modified this tube and cut it short so that it comes just to the end of this uh, endoscope, just even with the end. And then uh, I'm using uh, MDS's uh, portable uh, LED light source, which uh, we can uh, attach here, use as a handle, and you can see the light source comes right to the end. We can see out the end of our endoscope. All right. Go. All right, and for demonstration purposes, I'm going to attach uh, this endoscope to my existing Carl Stortz uh, video endoscope system just so I can document this for you all. But typically, I look right through the eyepiece when I'm doing my intubating. Thanks. All right, and uh, I typically do use some viscous lidocaine jelly on the tip of the tube, uh, not only to uh, anesthetize the glottis, but also to make things slide past the uh, teeth through the oral cavity. It's quite small. This lubricant will help things pass without much friction. Turn on my light source here. Okay. I typically intubate with a rabbit in lateral. And I'll go in and I'll first try and find some landmarks. In this case, the roof of the mouth. I'm heading back and I can see where the... Uh, Glottis is engaged with the soft palate. I'll press against the soft palate with the end of the tube, exposing the, uh, well, the epiglottis falls forward and I can see the arytenoids. Then I pass right through them into the trachea and that elicits a cough. Okay, and then we extubate carefully. And then we switch our patient around. You hold on. Good. And the last step is that we watch and see that the bag is going up and down with each breath. Yeah. When it's properly placed, the bag will go up and down with each breath. 